do it whenever that's learning behavior. Yeah. You got to shake. Yeah. Let's face them up. That's why they always got their influence on TV. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 11. And such were some of you. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. Right. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. And he said, all things are lawful unto me. All things are lawful to me, all are lawful. And, and all things are not expedient. Some things you're not going to get rid of right on time. Some laws you ain't going to be able to just get yourself right and sing. Most people say, I, I, I can get off all the pork except the bacon. I got to have my bacon. <laughs> Some people go cold turkey and just cut pork off. But every place you know breakfast meat is pork. The majority of the time. That's why it's hard for some people. Yeah. Some of those people. But you got to get to this point sooner or later. Because it's going to get to you sooner or later. Let's get some more of this. Verse 13. Meats for the belly. Right. And the belly for meats. But God shall destroy both it and them. Ooh. Now the body is not for fornication, right. but for the Lord, right? And the Lord for the body. So the body is not for fornication. Fornication is illegal sex act, spiritual okay. or carnal. Spiritual or carnal. Fornication can't live in there. You can't say I got the Lord in me, and you look at that, and you be rubbing on this like it's God. It's a manure, but this ain't God. Y'all see this over there, everybody look at that and bow down to that at the end of the day for the Lord to bless That ain't that. That's idolatry. You can't make no pictures of no black Jesus. No white one, no Chinese one. All those are graven images. Somebody painted that. They had an image. Who was the Negro Christ? Lou Rose, he's sitting up there. <laughs> and you paint and say, worship that? Thank That's you. graven imagery. Let's read some more. Thank with <laughs> uh, uh, to uh, verse fourteen, and God has raised, and God has both raised up the Lord, and will also raise up us by His own power. Right? Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? What is our bodies? Members of Christ. Absolutely. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an army? Oh no. God forbid. Right? Maybe we'll see why. Go ahead. What? <laughs> I know ye not. I, I, don't, I don't who? Say that. What? What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an heart is one body? For two says he shall be one flesh. So if you join to a woman that you have an intercourse with, you become one flesh and you marry and you're one flesh in the sense because you're doing that part of marriage. Because that ain't, that's only one part of marriage. The other, you skip the courting process. That's all you do. So you partly married, so to speak, but it's illegal. Because you ain't paid no dowry to her daddy. You ain't did nothing set up home for you. ain't did what you're supposed to do before you go get a maid. And set it up for marriage. Now if you fall off and do that first, then you still got to do part two. You got to come back door and start courting. And get it right. Ain't no easy way out. But if you choose to say, we just gonna roll like this. <laughs> What's the new thing? Friends with benefits. <laughs> no, your benefit will be the lake of fire. <laughs> if you believe that when you die. Let's read a little bit of this and close out. Verse 17. Yep. But he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Absolutely. Flee fornication. Mm. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornica fornication sin against his own body. Right. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, right. which is in you, mm. which ye have of God. And ye are not your own. Right. For ye are bought with the price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. So we want to hear a little bit of this Ecclesiastes, but y'all read on your own time in, in the uh, Apocrypha, okay. in Ecclesiastes of Sirach, chapter 38, just talk about honor and position, because God put doctors in place for you to, uh, uh, Sirach, chapter 38. Most I put doctors here for us. They ask you to say, well, you don't believe what I'm saying, I want to school for this. 
But it may get to a point that what a doctor will tell you is out of our hand of natural understudy of the Bible. It's going to take a miracle for you to come up out of it. So we have to go to a physician early on. But a physician will always do this when you go to him. First thing for our people, give up the pork and the salt. And here's your diet. Or here's this bag of medicine. One of the two you got to do to live. This going to be worse than the diet. Because this is going to have side effects. It's going to stop your heart from doing this, but it's going to make your arm do this. I'm going to give you another pill that's going to stop this arm from doing this, but it's going to make your leg do that. And then I'm going to give you a pill for that to stop your leg, but this one's going to give you an oily discharge, and your drawers will always be soiled. And you got no pill for that. <laughs> So, y'all, we got to be careful. What you got, said? June 12th at my house. June 12th, Pentecost. 50 yeah. days after Passover. Uh, Passover was Tuesday, April uh, April 19th, right? What was it? March 19th? March 19th. 50 days after Passover. And which is all, Pentecost always lands on the Sunday. It's the day of Pentecost, and that falls on, on the next coming Sunday, June 12th. We always do the Sister DeBoer house. Y'all get with me if y'all don't know where it's at. What's what's that address say right there? Eight four two zero G E R A L D. That's right in Florence and off of Elizabeth. Whichever way you call me, you call me. My number is y'all yeah, know my number, don't you? What is? What's the D? Nine two zero and and six three nine five six. Daniels. So what's your number, sis? Two eight five. Two eight five. Ten forty four. And this is a, a light piece, y'all. What we call it? Forty four. Forty four. Oh, okay. That's how we yeah, line yeah, up on Saturday. Right. But y'all call and get instructions, y'all. We'll meet you about what time, sis. We, it, it's no real time. We hit about 2 p.m. or so. Y'all, we, we got to do it. We got to eliminate the nigga on the time. We said 2 p.m. so everybody can yeah, have about 6. <laughs> <laughs> what about 2 p.m., y'all? About 2 p.m., y'all, we'll get it cracking and we go some scriptures about that. And we'll go to about, about 7 p.m. or so sundown. We'll read a little bit about Pentecost and why we're doing it, why it's so important. It's a high holy day. And we'll understand this is when the Holy Spirit was given out or came down on me. You know, and we'll understand that clearly, y'all. We do that just a light small guy, no big piece like the Passover. Just some of us get together and understand that you can do it at your home if you like. Uh, but how to do it? But we'll break a little bread, y'all, and we get some understanding about it. Things to, that need to be brought or anything to that night. Well, right. And, 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 usually we do the light dishes or we get some wings or something like that. Ain't no major feats. You know, if y'all got some specialties y'all want to bring, by all means bring it. You know, you need 30 to 50 people there. So it's got a nice size house and base and y'all with. We're getting on, but y'all, we can't come like it's a feast. We got to come because we want to feast off of this and understand it. Then that's secondary. Right. You got to be filled with the bread and the word of the law at first, right. and then we go to the point of bread. What's the sound? Close it. What close the sound? We're gonna close out with y'all. I heard Isaiah, the oldest Hebrew in St. Louis. Where you at, big bro? St. Louis, song. Hey, hey, Shalom. Okay. Let's get it on, y'all. Uh, what? Sixty-one. Sixty-one. That's the thing. Sixty-one. Let's get it, y'all. warm up in there. For the second of the Must be on one accord. Yes, I'm looking now. We good. We good. Song. 61, with the most highest provision. Hear my cry, O oh God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry to thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, say lie. For thou, O oh God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. 
overturn mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Hallelujah. Y'all got a shekel or two, y'all. We greatly appreciate it. Y'all, if y'all feel...